Good morning and welcome. Thank you for joining us today for this Living Saints presentation, either present or virtually. I'm Angela Robleski, principal here at St. John the Baptist Catholic Montessori School. Again, thank you for coming to support our saints in the making. And for this, we do just ask that during every presentation that you please remain seated. It would be greatly appreciated. And at this time now, we invite you to join us if you are so inclined to sing, Oh, when the saints go marching in. Let us begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. During this All Saints Day celebration, we pray that we may be inspired by the saints who have gone before us. We also pray that as we celebrate their lives in holiness, we may strive to live up to their example. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. St. Ermengild. I am a King Wilsters of Mercia, which is present day Britain. He was a pagan, and I brought him to the faith, which influenced him to spread the faith throughout his kingdom. When he died, I went to live in an abbey as a nun. I gave up everything to follow Christ. When I, I died on February 13, 703. Thank you. Hello, I am St. Patrick. I was born in Scotland in the year 387. But when I was 16, I was captured by pirates who brought me to Ireland as a slave. As a slave, I was a shepherd. As a shepherd, I was very lonely and prayed hundreds of times a day and hundreds of times a night. God heard my prayers and told me to go back to my own country. God gave me the gift to work with animals. Number one, I calmed the angry hounds on the ship that brought me back home. Number two, I prayed for food for me and the pickings on the ship, and God sent a herd of pigs. Number three, Croatius was an evil ruler who persecuted Christians. I asked him to stop, but he didn't listen, so God turned him into a fox. The fox ran off and was never seen again. Lastly, some people th say there are no snakes in Ireland because I drove them all out, just like sin. I became a priest and later a bishop. I brought Jesus to Ireland. I died on March 17th in the year 461, and I'm the patron saint of Ireland. The end. St. Gianna. I lived in Italy. 
I am a doctor and a mom. I got sick, and I chose to save my baby. Ah, uh, but I died. I am the pension stain of doctors, moms, and unborn babies. Thank you. I am St. Monica. I was born in Africa in the year 332. I am the mother of St. Augustine. I prayed a lot for my son. I am a model of patience. I died in the year 387. My feast day is on August 27th. Thank you. My name is St. Victoria. I was born in the year 304. I am a martyr who died for my faith and helped others love Jesus. I was put in prison and starved because I would not agree to marry. When I refused to sacrifice to other gods, I was executed. Through my faithful example, my prison guards found Jesus too, and who also murdered. My feast day is December 23rd. Thank you. Hello, I am St. Anne, and I am the mother of Mary and the grandmother of Christ. I was born in Nazareth to a family of farmers. I wanted to marry, but it was very hard. Finally, a man asked me to marry him, and I said yes. His name was Joachim. We raised a baby named Mary, the mother of Christ. I was not known widely to the church until the 1400s. I am the patron saint of Brittany, France, women in labor, and children. My, my legend goes back to 150 A.D., and my feast day is July 26th. Thank you for listening. Hello, I am St. Catherine of Siena, and I was born on March 25, 1347 in Siena, Italy. I was the last of 25 children, but sadly most of them died because of black death. I had a twin sister, but she died too. When I was at the age of six, I had a vision of Jesus at St. Dominic's Church. When I was older, my parents wanted me to marry my sister's husband. My sister had died, so that left him alone. I refused to because of my love for God. When I was older, I joined the Third Order of St. Dominic Church and cared for the sick and poor. I helped popes move back to Italy from France because during my time, most of the popes lived in France. I wrote many books and prayers and shared Jesus' suffering by not eating much and only having communion. On April 20, I died on April 29, 1380 in Rome when I was 30 years old. I am the patron saint of nurses, fire, Italy with St. Francis of Assisi. Thank you. I am St. Gertrude of Nevea. I was born in 626. I died in 659 at age 33. I was born into a noble family. The king arranged a marriage for me to marry a duke. I said no. I wanted to marry Jesus and become a nun. I started a monastery when nuns live. I built churches and hospitals. I helped the people in need. I helped the poor. Oh, I mean, I hope I like to pray a lot. I was kind to cats and I fed them. Mice 
The mice in my pictures represent the people who just died and that I prayed for. I am the patron saint of cats, gardeners, widows, travelers, and people who just died. Thank you. St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, and now I'm in heaven. I was born October 12, 1891 in Breslau, Germany, which is now Poland. I was born with the name Edith Stein. My religion was Jewish, but I became an agnostic when I was 13 years old. An agnostic is someone who doesn't know if there's a God or not. I felt bad for the people in World War I, so I became a nurse. I then went to school and became a philosophy professor. Searching for truth, I found it. After reading a book by Teresa of Avila, I was baptized a Catholic on January 1st, 1922 at 31 years old. I wanted to become a nun right away, but my spiritual mentor stopped me. So, I taught at the Dominican Sisters School, did speeches on women's issues, and wrote books and papers. In 1934, I became a Carmelite nun, and that's how I got my name, Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. I wrote philosophy books. The Nazis in Germany hated the Jews, so my superiors smuggled me to the Netherlands. Here's my passport photo. On August 2nd, 1942, I was arrested for being a Jewish convert and was sent to Oswald Concentration Camp. This camp was a place where the Nazis killed Jews with poisonous gas. And that's how I died on August 9th, 1942. My last words were the Our Father. I am the patron saint of Europe, orphans, and martyrs. Thank you for listening. Hello, my name is St. Elizabeth of Hungary. I was born in 1207. I, was a, I am the daughter of a king. I was married at the age of 14, and I had three children. I didn't want to live the life of a queen. I just wanted to live a simple life and serve God. I love God very much. I gave bread to the poor, and I cared for the sick. One day when I was carrying our bread to the poor, my husband asked me what... I met my husband, found me, and asked me, what was I doing? When I opened up the folds of my dress, the bread was turned into roses. I died in Thuringia, modern-day Germany, in 1231. I am the patron saint of beggars, and my feast day is November 17th. Thank you. I am St. Rose of Lima. I was born April 20th, 1586 in Lima, Peru. In my early life, I did lots of fasting and I received Holy Communion every single day. My mother wanted me to get married, but I wanted to become a nun. Finally, my parents agreed that I did not have to get married, but they would not let me live in a convent. I loved the poor and I took care of them. I made lots of sacrifices. I died at the age 31. I'm the pa I'm the First Saint Americas, and I'm the patron Saint Americas. My feast day is August 23rd. Thank you. Hello, my name is St. Augustine. I was born in 354 in North Africa. My father was a pagan. My mother was St. Monica, a holy Mormon. For 13 years, I made many by choices. I heard St. Ambrose preach about God, and I was baptized at the age of 33. I was ordained a priest and bishop. I wrote many books. I died on August 28th, 430 in Hippo. August 28th is also my feast day. 
I am the patron saint of theologians and some cities like St. Augustine in Florida. Thank you. I was born in the 6th century in County Clare, Ireland. I ran away from home when I was young. I went to Valley Verney for the rest of my life. I would get the bees out of their hives to chase away evil. My feast day is February 11th. I am the patron saint of bees and beekeepers. Thank you. Hi, I'm St. Vincent Ferrer. I was born on January 23rd, 1350 in Valencia, Spain. As a kid, my parents cared for the poor and gave them alms. I did the same. I joined the monastery in 1374. I was a great preacher. I traveled all over Europe, and I was also known for curing a woman of blindness. I died on April 5th, 1419. I am the patron saint of builders because I built up the church with my preaching. I was canonized in 1455. My feast day is April 5th. Thank you. Hello, my name is St. Christopher. My name is St. George. I lived in Lycia, Asia Minor. I was 7.5 feet tall, and I worshipped the king of Canaan. My real name was Reprobus. I found out that the king of Canaan feared the devil. I wanted to worship the devil because I wanted to worship the most powerful being. On the road, I heard news that God was more powerful than the devil, so I wanted to worship God. I found a hermit that told me about God. The hermit requested that I work at the river taking people across. One night at my cottage, someone knocked on the door and I opened it and it was a child. He asked me to take him across the river. As I took him across, he got heavier and heavier until I could barely lift him. The child then revealed that he was Christ and I received my name, Christopher, which means Christ bearer. I'm the patron saint of travelers and truck drivers. Thank you. My birth date is unknown, but I died on April 23rd, 303 AD. I was a Roman soldier. Both my parents were Christians. My father was also a Roman soldier. Legend has it that a dragon came to a town one day and to defend them from the dragon, they built walls. Every day they offered a sheep to satisfy the dragon. One day they ran out of livestock, so they started offering people voted by the villagers. One day the king's daughter, one day the king's daughter, one day it was the king's daughter's turn. While she sat waiting for the dragon to come, I came on a horse with a spear. I injured a, a dragon so it couldn't move. I tied, I tied it up so I, and then I brought it into the village. I still gave all the credit to Jesus. I said, if you all promise to become Christians, I will slay the dragon. They all agreed. I, I was killed by Diocletian. I am the patron saint of soldiers. Hello, I am St. Francis of Assisi, and I am the patron saint of animals. I grew up with a wealthy family, and later a small war broke out. I became a knight and was put into jail. I got out of jail, and I, be and I became ill. I started to hear God's calling for me. Did you know that I loved to preach so much I would preach to the birds? I was born in 1182 and died in 12. 23. One day I was praying in a broken church and God told me to rebuild the church with the Franciscan order. Thank you.
Hello, I am St. John the Baptist. My dad, Zechariah, was a priest who saw Gabriel the angel who told him that he would have a son named John. I was born around 1 BC, 0 AD in the land of Judea. My parents were Zechariah, a high priest, and Elizabeth, a cousin of Mary, the mother of Jesus. I left, me, left with joy in my mother's womb when Mary visited her with Jesus in her room. I was a prophet who preached to repent and prepare for the coming Messiah, and I baptized followers in the Jordan River. I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize. The one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. I baptize Jesus, he says, in the Jordan River. Sometime later, later, I went to King Herod, who had me arrested and imprisoned me for his interference. After being held in jail, I was beheaded by King Herod in 30 AD. My baptism of Jesus is one of the most important events in all the Gospels. Thank you. Hi, my name is St. Mother Teresa. I was born in Yugoslavia in 1910. I became a Lord's sister when I was 18. I was on a train and I heard Jesus say, Go help the poorest of the poor. In, 19, in 1950, the Pope gave me permission to form the Missionaries of Charity. How I brought Jesus, like, how I brought Jesus' love into the world, home for dying, schools, orphanages, hospitals, soup kitchens, pre protecting lives, connecting to Jesus through prayer, helped me serve the poor. I died in 1997. I am known for these beautiful messages of love. Okay. If you can't feed a hundred people, then just feed, then feed just one. Mother Teresa, 1910. Thank you. Hi, I am St. Patrick. I was born sometime in 386 AD. I lived in Scotland until Irish pirates kidnapped me and I was a slave for six years. God started to give me dreams to escape, so I escaped and went back to Scotland. For 10 years, I studied the Christian way. I went back to Ireland and for 40 years, I helped the Irish believe in Christianity. During that time, I became bishop. One of the ways I help the Irish is the shamrock, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. I died March 17th, 461 AD. Hi, my name is St. Zita of Lucia. I was born in 1218 in the village of Mount Sigari. I died on April 27th, 1218 in Lucia. My feast day is April 27th. I'm the patron saint of housekeepers, servants, and lost keys. My whole family were peasants. When I was 12, I went, from, I went to Lucia to be a servant to a noble family, but I was still a peasant. I lived in an attic bedroom, but I could not afford everything I needed. I went around all year barefoot, for I could not afford shoes. I was devoted to Christ and I was allowed to celebrate Mass. One of my most famous stories is that one day I was baking bread and after I put it in the oven, I went upstairs to my attic bedroom where I started to pray. I got so involved in praying that I forgot all about the bread. When I rushed downstairs sure that it was burning, I found that it was neatly laid out by my guardian angels. I made sure that I took time from being a servant to go out to feed the homeless and hungry. Thank you. Hello, my name is St. George of Lydda. My father was a Roman officer and my mother a Greek native. Both my parents practiced Christianity. When I was old enough, I decided to join the army. 
under my father's friend, Diocletian. Later, I got promoted to an imperial guard for the emperor. One day, Diocletian ordered that every troop in the army would arrest Christians if they saw one, and every soldier in the army would offer a sacrifice to the Roman gods. I said I wouldn't abide. He got mad, but he didn't want to ruin the friendship between him and my father. He, so he offered me land, money, and fine delicacies. I still said no. Finally, after exhausting all options, he ordered my execution. Before I died, I was tortured on the wheel of swords to renounce my faith, but I still said no. I died 303 AD outside the walls of Nicodemia. I'm the patron saint of soldiers, archers, workers, cavalry, and chivalry. Thank you for listening. My name is St. Rocco. I have a cross birthmark on my chest. I was born in France. My parents died young, and I became an orphan to my uncle. I took the vow of poverty and started my travel to Rome. I got to Italy, and I cured with, the, with, the, with prayer and the sign of the cross. I got the plague and lived in a hut where a dog brought me bread for healing. I went back to France, was put in jail for five years because they could not recognize me. Before my death, they believed I was St. Rocco, and I went back to, I went to heaven. And because of this, I am the patron saint of dogs, contagious diseases, and pandemics, and more. You can pray to me during the COVID-19 pandemic. Hi, I'm St. Martin of Tours. I was a bishop and a soldier. I lived for 81 years and had two visions from God. I joined the Roman army at the age of 15. And at the age of 10, I joined Christianity. One night as I was riding home, there was an old man out in the cold. So I removed my cape and with my sword cut it in half and gave the other half to the man. I was born in the year 316 AD I was born in the city Severia Pannonia. Today that is known as Hungary. My father was an imperial horse guard, which is a highly ranked officer called Tribune. Because of this, my family needed to move and live in Ticum nor in North Italy. I died in the year 397 AD. The city that I died in is named Candace St. Martin. I was a patron saint of against poverty, against alcoholism, soldiers, tailors, cavalry, and keepers, and hotel keepers. Thank you. Hi, my name is St. Paul. I was born in the year three in Taurus, Turkey, into a wealthy Jewish family that followed Roman rule. I was a man who used to persecute Christians by taking them out of their houses and putting them in prison. One day while I was doing that, Jesus appeared to me and said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? I changed my name to Paul and became a Christian. I decided to go to Jerusalem to start preaching, but my preaching there caused so much trouble that I was put in prison by the Romans. While I was in prison, I wrote 13 of the 27 books that are in the New Testament. I was beheaded for my faith and buried in Rome. My feast day is June 29th, and I'm the patron saint of journalists and writers. I'm often known as the 13th apostle, but I never met Jesus. Thank you. We thank you, Lord, for this time today to learn about the lives of your holy men and women. We pray that once we leave this church, we may follow their example in holiness and one day become saints. We pray this all in your name. Amen.
Please join us in singing when the saints go marching out. Thank you again for joining us. Our students are immediately heading out to do their presentations again for Children's House, but you are welcome to peruse um, all the preserved goods that our adolescents have been making. Thank you.